How's it going, my lovely Death Disciples? I am the Shattered Reaper, and today we are going to continue our Dragon Inquisition Let's Play, where last we left off, we had just entered the Emerald Graves, where we had met with Fairbanks, and he is trying to protect his refugees. Meanwhile, we discovered that the Freemen of the Dales are not actually Dalish. They're just cultural appropriating deserters, to which I am properly dealing with them by murdering them. So yeah, don't appropriate my people's culture, or I will destroy you. Okay? Keep that in mind. Uh, in other news, uh, and uh, yes, it also goes for the fucks that decided to cause the insurrection over at the white, at the Capitol building, and then wore my people's clothing, use their symbols for their white supremacy. Yeah, I'm talking about you fucks as well. Don't think I'm not upset about that. Because I still am, and I always will be. But with that little political rant out of the way, um, we are now continuing uh, down here, and we are uh, going to deal more with the Freemen of the Dales. Um, but now we are in Villa Morel, and we're continuing to investigate just what's going on here. Masterwork heater shield. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, in case you're wondering about the lag a little bit, I wasn't quite expecting to see a lag. Nothing recent anyway. Hmm. Well, if you're wondering about the lag right now, which I wasn't quite expecting, um, it's kind of because um, I'm rendering a video at the moment, and I thought I'd be able to just do the video like this, but I guess there's just going to be a slight lag, but probably nothing too big to worry about. Hello. We discovered the private chambers. Sorry to ruin your privacy, but that's kind of my thing. Only my privacy gets to be respected, but not yours. That is the way of the High Imperial Inquisition of the Holy, Beautiful, Graceful Elven Empire of Beauty. And finesse. Done and done. Glad those other three guys in that other room over there didn't hear anything that was going on. That was quite convenient. Also, they disappeared in, like, some smoke and- ooh, something to read. Pages from Lord Morel's journal. The journal of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. I could have a Templar to dinner and they would be none of the wiser. Oh, that reminds me. Um, we actually came here to help out Fairbanks because apparently he also has information on the Red Templars, which is very important. So uh, we definitely want to get that taken care of. Uh, a Templar to dinner, they would be none the wiser. If the Templars haven't gone off to do Maker knows what, I might try it. Valerie complains, but the Empress herself has such an advisor. Why not me? His services are useful, and no one could do could better ensure our security. No matter, the distractions of the city will ease her mind soon enough. Hmm, that's suspicious. Let's see now. Ah, hello, Zerpipe. You are Legion. Fuckwilds, do you still wish to you appropriate my people's culture by calling yourselves the Freemen of the Dales, and then also wishing to claim as though the Dales will be yours? Well, such a dick, because now you will pay the price for your greed with death. So do not be surprised when I make sure that you are filled with enough arrows to make yourself a perfect thing cushion for my next actually practice. You filthy human fox. And also, if you wish to excuse it, monsieur, that was rather impolite of you. Not going as well as I may have planned. Okay, um, just, just uh, give me some time to revive some people. Um, please stop. Okay, that didn't quite work well. Uh, nope, that did not work well at all. They just all came at me. Hmm. They kind of seemed like they were coming out of the edges, so maybe I should also deal with that part as well. Just don't... Just don't attack the mid. Just attack all around it. Oh, some There evidence. must be something here. There must be. Oh. 
part of a key. Keeping. There's a rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. Hmm. How very peculiar. There must be a safe within the vicinity. And I must find it now. Sexuality and Theros. Ooh, now we get to see some of the interesting parts of this land. Proceed. What I find most interesting is that despite the lack of open discussion on matters of human sexuality... Oh, I'm sorry, you're just gonna go ahead and leave out the dwarves? You're gonna leave out the Kuhn? The elves? You're just gonna make it all about those fucking humans? Is that what this is? Ungrateful. There is commonality to be found on the subject in all Andrastian lands. Typically, one's sexual habits are considered natural and separate from matters of procreation. Well, I mean, duh. And only among the matters of nobility, where procreation involves issues of inheritance and the union of powerful families is it considered of vital importance yet even there a noble who has done their duty to the family might be allowed to pursue their own sexual interests without raising eyebrows the view on indulging lusts with a member of the same gender varies from land to land in orlay it is considered a quirk of character and nothing more in Feraldin, it is a matter of scandal if done indiscreetly, but otherwise nothing noteworthy. In Tevinter, it is considered selfish and deviant behavior among nobles, but actively encouraged with favored slaves. Nowhere is it forbidden, and sex of any kind is only considered worthy of judgment when taken to awful excesses or performed in the public eye. <laughs> Shameful Puritan scum. From my pursuit of knowledge to the travels of a Chantry scholar by Brother Chenitivi. Well, I mean, of course, you'd have to expect an Italian to want to explore one of those. Or French. Surprisingly enough, the Orlations didn't do anything on this. Quite surprising, truly. But, oh well, if it wouldn't be a French, it would have to be an Italian. Also, I do not care for the basic stuff, so uh, get that shit out of my sight. Alright, let's go ahead and continue scouring the outer areas. Huh, someone has a fire going on and no one's even in here to enjoy it. Disgraceful long-bearded axe. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Read, Lady Morel's diary. Wait, there's a Lady Mori Morel. Hmm, the diary of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it roughly aside. All this fuss over Gaspard and Celine. The talk was amusing enough. Now we hear of conflicts between the Imperial Army and the soldiers supporting that usurper. The thought of them coming here is frightful. Mother was right. Our most fashionable acquaintances will summer in the city. We should do the same. Ramon is stubborn, of course. All his little tricks and trinkets are here. I indulge in his eccentrics. Mostly to annoy Mother. But we cannot have everything sent to Valroyer on such short notice. He does insist we keep Artem on. He refuses to do without the man's services. I suppose he views Artem as another piece of his collection. Still such devotion to a servant. Also, this will have, uh, happened. This will be a video that will, um, be, um, available in a couple of days. I'm actually gonna be visiting, uh, my aunt. Uh, we're gonna be, uh, spending some time for over the weekend, so, uh, you will- this will be an explanation of why I've done this video a couple of days before the video actually comes out. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on, so, uh, I'm not gonna be distracted. Discovered courtyard, okay. No, 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 let's not be tricked into attacking them. Unless they attack us, which actually that would be fine, because we're not drawing attention. Excuse me, madame! Okay, that's actually a lot of people, um... No. Bad, monsieur. Very bad. Don't mind me going invisible. Oh, much better. Yeah! 
you should be doing no such thing, monsieur. Especially you, monsieur Archer. Oh, don't think you can be using that technique on me. Let me show you how to properly do it even though you are dead. Actually, I did not even need to use it because you are possessed. Heraldic symbol. Hmm. Well, at least we were able to take care of that issue. Now then, I guess that means this place is... Nope. Well, let's start with... Yes, me, monsieur. Stupid assassin. You may be better than the ones I have fought previously. And I will let you know in your attempts, but at the same time, allow me to give you a shot through the heart, and also an explosion. And that was your mistake, allowing me to notice your presence. That seems to be the last of them. Looks like that was the man in charge. He struck a blow against the Freemen. From what we've heard, I'm not sorry to see him go. Red Templar, no. I'm not either, but Red Templar order. Oh, look, we leveled up. A letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Meliphant. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services to Emplise du Lyon. We could always use a few more. Be discreet. Meliphant's still useful. I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his soldiers. See. Hmm, could that mean Corypheus? And they also mentioned Empress du Lyon. Perhaps that is where I should go Seems next. We interrupted end. their meeting with the Templars. They weren't ready for us. Whatever they came for might still be here. Perhaps. Which means we must scour everywhere in this location. Just to see if we might find anything of use. Discovered dining hall. Hmm, how very peculiar. Something to read? Malifant's journals. Malifant had several, kept several journals. This one spans the time that Malifant spent as a sergeant in the Imperial Army. I see Lauren's death in my mind all the time. The man who killed her, one of the usurper soldiers, was familiar. I wouldn't be surprised if I once shared a drink with him. Isn't that how it is now? Brother against brother. The priests tell me to remember Laurent's death. Uh, Laurent's life, not her death. So I try to recall years past, the countless times she saved me. The day we first met, when I was a young recruit who almost pissed himself at her barked orders because of her, I learned discipline and control. She instilled in me pride in what we did. She taught me how to use a sword. More importantly, she taught me how to keep it sheathed. She was fearless, strong, regal, and she was cut down like a common peasant by someone we may have once known. Will anyone remember her? Will Celine? Some pages later. There's a new soldier in our battalion, Gordian. He's an odd fellow with an accent I can't place, like he'd spent time in the marches. Doesn't matter. In the end, doesn't matter in the end. He's been a comfort, listening to me talk about those who died. He also lost friends in Celine's war, and he's tired like we are. He said a very wise thing. There is no war without soldiers. The Empress can't wage her war if we refuse to fight. Orlais should belong to Orlaisians. Hmm. That is a very interesting revolutionary idea there. Ooh, Blood Lotus. I'll take that. However, I probably shouldn't, uh, show this to anyone for, uh, obvious reasons. Now then, let's see. Let's go ahead and get a skill from the... Or actually, did I really upgrade... Ep no, I did not, which means I must finish this. Full draw. Do I get stunning shot? Enemies hit by full draw are knocked briefly unconscious by the power of your shot. Well, I mean, as is obvious, but really it should be them being dead. But, you know, if it doesn't kill them. Or penning shot. Enemies hit by full draw are immobilized. I prefer the unconscious. 
There we go. Much better. Now I have the full power of the archery skill. None can withstand my glory. Oh, another key fragment. Vanguard code and sigil of Bronto. Oh, how peculiar. Let's continue searching around the area. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. Something for the alcohol to be able to ease the mind. Unfortunately, my ID did expire, so I'm wondering if I'm still going to be able to purchase alcohol. Unfortunately, I know that I can't do that at a bar, but I'm, wonder I'm worried if I can't do that at a store now. Ugh. How am I going to be able to live without my weekly need of alcohol? How am I supposed to honor Dionysus without a nice drink? Or my ancestors? They're a religious necessity! A servant's letter. A neatly penned note addressed to the villa's former owner. My lord, everything is in order for your departure. I've granted leave to all non-essential staff and arranged transportation for the time you requested. I've taken the liberty of securing the more valuable items in your personal storeroom. I trust you will find everything to your satisfaction. Artem. Hmm. They must have left in a hurry, then. Dean uh, Vitar. I wonder if this could pu if I might run across the family at some point. Perhaps at Celine's ball and gathering, which is probably still going on, and Celine is still waiting for me to actually show up. And she's just like, where the fuck is the Inquisition? How am I supposed to host a good evening without them? Oh my. Oh, that is horrible. I wonder if maybe if I run across that family conveniently, I might just have a little bit of information to be able to use against them to sway for my personal needs. My political needs, if you will. Something to read over there. Exalted Marches of the Dales. The Chantry story of the Exalted March of the Dales paints the picture of the righteous faithful arrayed against he heathen savages. Oh, well then they must be talking about me. I am a heathen after all, you know. But I have long studied the Dales. I find the acceptable version of the tale to be a poor one. <laughs> Well, obviously, I mean, come on. It's told by the Chantry. I mean, of course it's going to be wrong. It's the Chantry. And pro-human... Laden with overt pro-Chantry and pro-human biases. Well, who would have fucking guessed? Thus, it is my moral imperative to propose an alternative interpretation. But the exalted march of the Dales was nothing more than an expansionist ploy hiding behind the mask of the faith. Oh, well, duh. It is easy to see on any map how large the Dales are. More importantly, they stand between Orlais and the rest of the South, and would likely have represented a significant obstacle to the Empire's expansion into Ferelden. Naturally, we stood to benefit from propagating the narrative of a hostile, unreasoning people attacking innocent missionaries and making blood sacrifice some good Andrastian babies. Oh, well, that brings up fun propaganda memories. Oh, you know, just, oh, look at these savages just murdering these missionaries in this foreign land when all they wanted to do was just propagate their god's beliefs and oh, how dare they kill them in cold blood. Ugh. I kind of wish they were somewhat true just so that we could actually just make them fear us. But you know, after they did their thing, which was murdering people who weren't of their faith. Kind of makes me think a little bit just how difficult it is to deal with such people. The likely truth is that the elves merely wish to maintain sovereignty over lands promised to them by Blessed Anthraste herself. Who gives a fuck about Anthraste at this point? We're elves. We don't care about her. We have our own gods. Jeez, quit shoving your god into our, bear, our in our business. Jeez, 
We don't need your god shoving his tiny cock into everything. When the humans showed clear intent to undermine their autonomy. Of course, the elves reacted by becoming increasingly isolationist, which suited the Empire perfectly. Here was a kingdom that spurned diplomatic overtures and that refused to lend aid during the Second Blight when the Darkspawn attacked Montsimard. The Dalish kingdom could not be anything but a dormant threat, one that needed to be crushed before it awoke. Scholars point to the massacre at Red Crossing as the, imp as the impetus for the Chantry's declaration of an exalted march on the elven kingdom of the Dales. They conveniently ignore the fact that no one alive truly knows that what happened at Red Crossing or why the elves attacked. The Chantry's response to the elven aggression that resulted in the slaughter of hundreds was predictable. But in light of my thesis, perhaps we should re-examine the events of Red Crossing and wonder if the attack was truly unprovoked, or whether it is possible that someone saw benefit in sacrificing an entire village to justify the subjugation of an entire people. From a new perspective on the Exalted March, a pamphlet by an anonymous author published by the University of Orlais in 912 Dragon. Well, I do appreciate the professors of the University of Orlais for wishing to take in the opinions and the perspective of the Elven Dalish people. You have my respect. Now then. Oh. Find a way to reassemble the ruined key. Hmm. Oh, and what do we have here? Well, first, before we do that, a letter to Maliphant. Maliphant, I'm sending men to discuss some changes. It's nothing dire. You'll find the demands perfectly reasonable. We're willing to, re to compensate you for any inconvenience. I want our relationship to be mutually beneficial. It's been going so well, each of us with our crusades. Oh, God, what's that fucking word? What's well, a pretty big book-looking letter there? Raste Sacrifice, cooldown modifier, unique amulet. Chance on hit taunt all enemies within 8 meters for 4 seconds. The wearer of this amulet regenerates mana or stamina at a higher rate. Rogue or mage only. All, against all odds, Inquisition scouts discovered this amulet under the charred fallen rafters of a burned down chantry. The mage who examined it said it felt like all the power in the world. I'll be taking that, and I guess I'll be giving it, since it's mage, uh, based, I think maybe I'll give it to, uh, a mage or rogue, actually, sorry. I think maybe I might give it to either Vivian or Cole. I think it works for either one. The long walk to Halam Sharal. Only 65 of our group made it to Halam Sharal. Some gave up, some sickened, especially the little ones. Bandits stalked us. My mother, forgive me, I had to steal food. A child fought me for extra scraps of bread. A few days later, I carried her for miles after her legs gave out. She died shivering in my arms. I used to have a master, a mage. He fed me well, never beat me, even taught me how to read so I could do his accounts. But if he had a theory or a spell he wanted to test out, he'd get out his daggers, have the other servants tie me to a post, and carve furrows into my skin. I was so afraid. Every time I was sure I would die. But at worst, I'd collapsed, get bandaged up and lie in bed too weak to move for days. The other slaves visited me in secret to survey the damage. I'd healed just enough before he needed blood again. That is why I traveled from Val Dorma to the Dales with nothing but rags on my back. That is why there were 150 of us when we set out, all elven. That is why I fell to my knees and wept when we crossed through the gates of my new home, a village for my people. Anonymous account of a long walk, as told to Brother Picor of Ferelden, circa 140 ancient. Blessings for their sacrifice, so long to be blessings be in their suffering. Um, <clears throat> Ironball, if you would, uh, do the honors. Okay, that makes me feel much better. Mind you, have some fine thighs. Red Lyrian. They were smuggling for the Templars. Not anymore. Nope. Malifant's journals. Malifant kept several journals. This one details the founding of the Freemen of the Dales. August and I have established outposts in the Emerald Graves. We are spreading the word to both armies. 
sick of good or lazy men and women dying for someone else's cause. It ends now. Orle should belong to us, the people who defend her borders, who till her fields. If we're to fight and kill for something, let it be that. Yeah, doing a good job of that by murdering the Orlesian people. Sure. Several pages later. Templars approached us. They're not the order I knew, but they have offered weapons and gold if we help bring their supplies through the Emerald Graves. If we are to free the Dales from the grass of the nobility, we need what they have to offer. It's a deal with a demon, but our cause is worthwhile. Still, murdering Orlesian people. Don't think, don't think you're quite doing the people's good will. An official appraisal, an note addressed to the villa's former owner, lies next to an unusual device. Lord Morel, I post a few questions to my contacts in the White Spire, discreetly, of course, unless they want the peace for themselves. From what I can gather, the device rustically dubbed a Lyrium Eperlon is meant to restore broken runes. They are not widely used. Some suggest that if the rune were affixed to an object, the device could restore the item itself. Although I am unable to confirm the truth of this, this is purely academic, as it requires a mage to function. It is nevertheless a rare piece, prized among the collectors of curiosities. I trust you are pleased with the purchase. Sincerely, Emile Faber, Collector and Purveyor of Unique Ephemerae. Hmm. I'll place the key fragments. Oh shit, we require a mage. Okay, uh, take the mosaic piece. Okay, well then I guess I need to go all the way back to a camp in order to do that. So, uh, other than that, at least we have everything else taken care of, but we are gonna have to leave for a moment. And then head right back, hopefully it won't take too long. But at the very least we have everything taken care of within the vicinity. Ugh, I'm hungry now. I'll be right back while it's, uh, loading. Much better. Okay. Back to business. Uh, oh, there is a camp right up over there, so I think I'll investigate that. A little marker over there. Hmm. Nice to be out in the beautiful green again. Oh, there's Embrim over there. Gonna go ahead and collect some of that. Okay, but this was a dead end, so, uh, we'll just have to, uh, head back. Over, uh, this way. I think the other direction was how I was able to get to the second camp or whatever. More embryum. Yeah, there's an opening over this way, so it should be in this direction. Although I have to wonder, um, let's see. Deluded Chevalier documents found in Gus in Costo's camp mention a Chevalier named August, who was working for the Freeman. He was last seen at Argon's Lodge in the Emerald Graves. Noble Deeds, Noble Heart. Okay, so that's where I get the last proof for Fairbanks nobility. There's also a, uh, rift, uh, over to the north, and, uh, oh, something to read here, too. Hard in Hightown, Chapter 9, by Varg Tethras. Donan Bren uh, Brenakovic was running out to, of leaves to chase. He only had two weeks left until retirement. Just two weeks to find the man who murdered a magistrate and a Hightown noble. If Captain Hendelon didn't kick him from the ranks first. 
The docks stank of piss and rotting fish, as foul as the men and women who worked there. But that was where Don and had to go to find the raider captain, Belladonna, who had broken into the Comte de Favre's home. The dragon's jewels was a big boat. She liked big boats. The pointy bits towered majestically over the wall. That roundish wooden part seemed like it could crush armadas beneath its... Shit, I don't know. Wood? It's morning wood, you could say. Okay, I'm done. It was the greatest boat in the history of boats, but even from the dock, Don knew something was wrong. He ran up to gang he ran up the gangplank to find a dead sailor on the deck, and a blood trail leading down into the hold. Don and drew his sword and followed. His eyes still hadn't adjusted to the dimness of the lower decks when he tripped over a second dead sailor, stabbed in the gut, and left where he'd fallen. <clears throat> The body was still warm. The ship creaked with every swell of the waves. Don held his breath and crept deeper into the hold. He barely deflected the blade in time. Steel rang against steel. Don and parried a second blow, still half blind in the lower light. In the low light, the third swing got past his guard and left a wicked slash in its forearm. Nobody attacks my crew, you flaming pile of dog shit! The attacker swore, and Don recognized her voice. Hold, Kirkwall, C hold, Kirkwall City Guard. He shouted, barely bringing the blade up in time. You again? Donna's eyes finally began to adjust and he could make out Captain Belladonna. She was clutching her ribs with her right hand, a dagger in her left, and was covered in enough blood that Don knew was sure it wasn't all hers. She glowered at him. Could have used a guard not five minutes ago. Useless as ever. She grudgingly lowered her weapon. Donna sheathed his sword. Who did this? Don't know. Didn't care to ask. She sniffed. Bastard killed two of my men before I cut off his hand, and he bolted. She waved indifferently toward the rear of the hold. It's over there somewhere. Did you take the Comte's shipment? Donan asked. No. If that's what this was about, you can have it. She limped over to a trunk and removed a bundle of cloth tied uh, with twine. She threw it at Donan's feet. Good riddance. Someone was a fan of, uh, Hard and High Town's work. Varg really does have quite the fan base, it seems. Damn you, Wall! Why do you have to block me off to where I need to go? Okay, well then I guess I do have to leave the area. Ugh, that's so annoying. Only one way in and one way out, and they're both the same. Ugh, that is truly annoying. I mean, like... No escape paths? Nothing? No extra entrances or exits so that you at least have more than one place you could leave in in case of danger? Like the one you were trying to escape from? That one? Oh, well, anyway, I suppose it doesn't matter anymore, because I'm gone, so... Oh, well. Much better. Definitely much better. There's a landmark up here. Probably gonna need my uh, moment to myself so that I can uh, finish chewing. Andraste's mercy. Elves were guilty of the greatest sin, of turning from the Maker, but we will show them mercy for that is what Andraste teaches. From a sermon given by Sister Amidi at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Seriously, fuck Sister Amidi. Fuck Sister Amidi. I seriously hope she's alive so that I can kill her at some point. Please, gods above and below, do offer me this one chance to be able to do so, because I desperately need it. <gasps> anyway, camp should be up uh, pretty soon. Ooh, Silver Falls. You've got my attention. There's also a quest this direction, but I'm gonna go for the camp first, and oh, there's a rift as well. 
Well, better take care of that. The elf has arrived to cleanse the sin from these holy woods. Also, we never turned from your maker. We always had our own gods. We're pretending like everyone has to have been a part of your god. suits me way better. Who needs fucking helmets that have no sense in style or fashion? This is all I need. Uh -oh. Seriously, fire breath. Step the fuck away from me, monsieur. maneuver. Nothing like a little disruption. Ow, 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 stupid heart freezing breath. Demon. I can see the spare demon and all her twirling in the air. Do not like to spare demons. They are the worst. Okay, we're gonna need to try to do something different. Like maybe resting up so that we actually have some potions might actually be a good idea. So, uh, Rip's gonna have to wait just a tiny bit. Uh, we're gonna have to find the camp first. And then deal with that rift. Oh, wait, was it in this direction? I mean, it says it is. But that's just the wall over there. Uh, the roots are really big here. Rialth's steps. Hmm. Where is the camp? Is it in this direction? Looks like it. All right, please tell me it is close by somewhere because I really want to just get there as soon as possible. 
course I have to be distracted by collectible materials. What the? Okay, uh, that was weird. Oh yeah, definitely sensing a good camp spot right up there. Oh yeah, there we go. And right next to one another one of the wolves. Perfect. Vedrick's clothes in the pavilion. Uh, I got all of our uh, potions. Inquisitor, you have a moment. Port. What is it? This could help us. Ah, another lure. Okay, well, first things first, gotta change the party. So uh, let's go ahead and bring. Uh, oh. We'll bring Vark again. And then we'll bring Vivian and Iron Bull. Always have to have my bay. There we go. And, uh, oh, right. I can uh, fulfill the requisition. So uh, let's go and do that, shall we? Giant Lord, do that. There we go. Some more power available for me now. I'm not going to ask for the quest again because uh, I'm just going to be here forever if that's the case. Now then, on to other business. Because now that I have Vivian, I need to go ahead and reforge that key. And also uh, take care of that rift that I passed by earlier. So I'm going to do that first and then reforge that key, then open that safe and see what it's got. What we came here to do? Ow! I took on all of those rage blasts. Back me up! Stupid ass raids. Also, some embryum and a landmark to claim. Silver Falls. No elven treasure was hidden beneath the falls. That ridiculous tale lost me six soldiers. If I find the man who started the rumor, I'll kill him myself. From the journal of Captain Marsane, dated 220 Glory. Maybe he just wasn't looking hard enough. But, you know, it's an elven treasure. Not meant for stupid humans. I mean, what? Do they think they're special or something? Oh, who the fuck am I kidding? Of course they feel they're special. They always feel like they're special as stupid fucks. Especially the white ones. They always like to feel the most superior for some reason. Oh wait, hold on. I completely forgot what I was going to do earlier, but... Oh well. Doing other missions right now, and uh, I also noticed there's a building over here that also had a question mark. A landmark! Discovered the Lion's Pavilion. Hmm. Some interestingly textured... 
bastard stairs. Alliance Pavilion is a welcome rest for weary travelers through the Dales. Its most prominent feature is a statue of a muscled Valmal Emperor slaying a dragon, the symbol of the Dracon dynasty. The Valmal's famed subtlety and grace clearly emerge with later generations. From a pursuit of knowledge of the travels of a Chantry scholar by Brother, Di Brother Dinity V. How dare you murder an innocent dragon, you fiend! Oh, also there's a quest. A lover's promise, Elena. If you found this and are still at the pavilion, leave immediately. As I passed, I saw a band of armed men close by. I fear they may attack innocent travelers. Meet me instead in the old grove of Gracevine, where the prophet's laurel grows. Your love, Dan. Oh, I hope I didn't take it. Because, I mean, if she does need it, um... And she hasn't been here already, well, uh... That might pose a few problems, I would assume. And I also don't know why I'm lighting these, but I am, because reasons. Weird. Can only one of them be lit? And, uh, what was the quest over here? Oh! Devotion, right. Okay. So, it was that. Anyway, let's check the map a little bit. A uh, couple of rips, but, uh, right. I need to go travel over here. But I can't quite do that. Wish I could fast travel there, but I can't, so uh, we'll just have to start from here, I suppose. Maybe we could sell a few things while we're there. Also, did I find all of the evidence or uh, for uh, Fairbanks nobility? I can't quite remember. Anyway, let's go to selling stuff. Uh, let's see. Glittering Darmalion. Uh, is that better than what Iron Bowl currently has? I'm curious. Oh, it is. Okay. Um. Oh, and he's able to equip this, which is better than the Glittering Darmalion. So, uh, take this charismatic great axe that I've been keeping all this time, my beloved Iron Bowl. Uh, well, we'll sell this, though. Um, Soul Kisser. Um, the Witch Fire Staff. Oh, whoops, maybe I shouldn't have. I could have given it to someone else and I think about it. Oops. Maybe I can uh, buy it back. Give it back with Soul Kisser. Um, but let's continue selling. Um, anything that's basic, get rid of it. That's belt of the Winter Pack. Okay. Urgency, Fire Resistance. Get rid of the Potions Belt. Get rid of valuables. And that'll be it. The Inquisition would always be welcome here. Uh, okay. Although, um, I do need to check real quick in my journal. Did I, uh, let's see, Emerald Graves, Noble Deeds, Noble Heart. No, I still have one more I need to find, right. Okay, I, I remember I saw the location, uh, but for some reason I guess I thought I did the quest thing. I don't know why I did, though. Anyway, let's continue on. <sighs> Take that. Take this. Andraste's blessing, Inquisitor. Fuck Andraste. But thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Did I find a new kind of path? Interesting. I don't think I remember seeing this. Probably doesn't really lead me anywhere, though, other than the places I already know about. Alright, back at Villa Morale. Now then, to do that very important thing of reforging the key fragments together once again. And afterwards, we'll be able to, uh, open whatever, open that safe and whatever things are inside it. Not sure what they are, but we'll figure that part out. Let's see what we got here.
Alright, so I think this was kind of the best way to find it. Or like the quickest route to uh, the key fragments. Once we have that fig once we have the key fragments, well I already explained what I was gonna do. But we're getting close to it. Okay, yeah, so it was on the opposite side of the court in the study right over here. So uh Red Lyrian. They were smuggling for the Templars. Not anymore. We kinda already knew that when we got in here, so uh Vivian, if you can energize. Thank you, darling. Find a use for the ruined key. Hmm. Where would I find a use for it? Have I been in here? Oh. So here's where they get the good stuff. So I never even bothered to open this door because I'm completely forgot it. Dense longbow, Navarre noble sword, edge dual blade grip, and 226 gold. Don't mind if I do. Ring of Sundering, Archmage, Lightning Staff, Orlesian Banner Crown, Corrupting Rune, Sigil of the Chevalier, and Enhanced Life Ward Amulet. Silken Fennec Fur, Miniature Spinning Wheel, Hunter Mail Arms. I think that's it. Alright. So, uh, we did at least find a banner, I suppose, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it, though. And we did also find a couple of, uh, um, schematics. Maybe that could do some good, but, uh, we will see. Anyway, now we can just go ahead and leave, go to the other camp, and then start exploring the northern part of this map. Let's see what things we could find. Or maybe we could just continue on foot, actually. And, uh, do that so that we could get that quest over to where it is. I'm actually probably not going foot. I'll just go ahead and use the camp. Travel over there and then walk over that way to uh, the lake. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark the lake as well, just to be sure I know exactly where I'm going as well. mushrooms as well. Don't mind if I do. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing, uh, being on, on the surface, but oh well, I won't question it. Who are you? We've been scouting the region, your worship. I have oh. some supplies here you may find useful. Oh, it's a carving knife. Uh, well, thank you, I guess? Not really useful to me, though, but thanks, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can find. What quest is present at, these, at this river? Also, I don't know how he could have lost six people in this river. It doesn't, it doesn't seem that bad, unless he was talking about going to that ramp. That probably might explain it. Now, what do we have here? A dead body. An elevation. What was that? I couldn't hear you over the water. Weird. Uh, but I guess we're investigating this noblewoman's death. Interesting. Um, okay. There is another, uh, uh, Asterion over there, but, uh, I guess we have to investigate this woman's fall. Um, where? I do not know. I guess maybe up here? We'll see. to reach it is the question. So it 
Could she have, uh... No, the body looks like it's, uh... The body looks like it's a bit far away, unless she was climbing the tree, which, honestly, I kind of doubt. I mean, in those clothes, probably not gonna happen. So I guess that's not necessarily the location that we were expected to look. Makes sense, actually. But I thought I'd check all avenues. Get some elf fruit too while we're at it. Okay, let's see about uh, investigating the river on the other side. Or in the opposite direction that we went. Oh. Let's look around. I agree, we should probably look around. Big gushing streams. I'm starting to feel inadequate. Why might that be, Iron Bull? <laughs> Bottles on the wall. Sunblon Vint 1. To Vinter brewed for a very discreet clientele and strong enough to fluster a tranquil. An almost weightless spirit best served with a powdering cat's bane and a, as a flavor enhancer and antidote. Oh, okay. I wonder if there is anything behind here. Ever. I guess that's it. I can't really proceed any further. Wouldn't mind a nice little ravine bath, as long as there's, uh, nothing in the ravine, in the waterfall. You know, just, just for obvious reasons. Oh, you seem extremely wounded, enemy. Don't know how you survived if I encountered you before. Oh well. I'll just loot your things. I don't know what that loot came from. Freeman orders. Get your men out on the roads and hunt down those Inquisition bastards. We're losing the Emerald Graves. We've forgotten what we're fighting for. Everything we do, we do for our future and for our lay. Well, not anymore. Let's see, there's some stuff over there I kind of want to look out for. It's mushrooms. Let's see what we can find in this area. Well, there's some rash vine. Or a rash vine. <laughs> Discovered dire stone. Okay. Making some good progress here. In our exploration of the land. Got you. Got you. Okay, not really anything up there. Ooh, this seems interesting. Oh, and another campsite. Perfect. And with another wolf to keep watch. Rifts closed in the side. Oh, there's an hysterium over that way. But unfortunately, I don't think I can reach it from here because of the walls. Oh well. Although, this seems like an interesting path to be able to take so that I could get to said hysterium that I noticed earlier. Hello, wonderful woodland creature and uh, rush of size. What the? Well, I shot at something I probably shouldn't have, but at the same time, must be taking care- Holy shit! How did you get so close to me that quickly? Ow. Take my ultimate archer ability. Didn't play you a lot of the track clip. Oh shit. How you, you make walls behind me? That is fair- that is extremely unfair of you. I think it's easier to take down than I originally thought. Oh. He blew up into tiny pieces. Uh, there's a lot of magic being, uh... So, um, was that a creature made of pure red lyrium, or...? 
unlocked August Ram. Okay, I have to look at the codex of this. I legitimately have to. Um, is that it? Black Wolf, no. Uh, Despair Demon, no. Foot Soldier, Herlock, Herlock Alpha, Horror, Giant Spider, Ghoul, Mabari, Hyena, Red Templar, Foot Soldier, Revenant, Tusket, the curving tusset protruding from the snout are present on both males and females? No. Red Templars? No. Red Templar Foot Soldier? Where's the August Ram? Foot Soldier? Dark Spawn? I don't think this is at all what it was talking about. At all. Well, what the fuck was that then? I don't think I'll ever know then. Spare Demon, Red Templar Soldier, Horse Master's Notes on the Mount. I don't think I'll ever be able to know what the fuck that was. Oh, that that's why we got to run about the August Ram was because it was an accidental casualty while I was fighting that giant. Ugh. Oh, but there is a landmark I can claim. Claim quarry. Yeah, that'll help with Superior Tower and maybe Courtyard, whichever one uh, occurs first. Alright, let's take care of this situation over here. Not teleporting right now? Sorry for the disturbance, but I really don't care. Ow! But let me take care of this teleporting bitch first. There we go. Fuck this despair demon and your twirling bullshit. No, now is not the time, bear. Teleporting, damn it! Jeez. People are you absolute filth are insufferable. Probably was not the place to bring Vivian since we are dealing with ice creatures and she's in a chiromancer. One despair demon. But at least I have my fight runes. By the way, how long have I been recording? Um, oh, actually been about an hour. Well, at least we got another rift closed. That's Rally Ring and Intense Frost Essence. Mm, I just don't feel satisfied though. I feel like there's still more I want to do. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to end it here. I mean, we were still able to accomplish quite a bit, I would say. And I, but yeah, we'll just end the video here. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give that like button a stab if you did. Subscribe if you want more death in your life. Be sure the bell is tolling for the Antonic Sign. Rest in peace. Bye. Enjoyed today's video? Well, there's plenty more for you to enjoy here. And if you also want to support this small channel, 
Then there is also my Kofi, which is available, as well as a Twitter thread that gives you my commissioning info. And if you'd like some traditional art or literature, feel free to DM me on Twitter. Thank you for enjoying the video and for your viewership.